hello everyone, friends. I remembered about the manhwa, which I did for a long time, and here is the second part, I hope for your support. Enjoy your viewing. The Awakened Ones. People who began to appear 28 years ago, at a time when terrible monsters began to arrive in our world through the gate. Huge dragons flying and destroying the city flying out of the portal and a man with a sword goes straight into the inferno of these events. The remains of a horned animal lie on the floor. All of them are endowed with mana, an unusually strong power that goes beyond the human imagination. I fell from the events I saw and was in huge shock, even open from fright. And have I become so awakened? I said to myself in great fright. Holding my head with both hands, I couldn't even imagine and believe what was happening. No, no, it can't be. Let's think rationally about Han Yil. A girl with a medium hairstyle and white hair with an ornament on her head closed her eyes and looked at me in surprise. I was repeating myself in my head. Rationally. I was looking at a dead predator lying on the floor, it looked like a lizard, with its tongue out. Repeating myself again in my head I said, rationally. The next moment, holding my head with both hands and in an even greater panic, I began to shout out loud. Yes, this whole situation does not even fit with common sense. The destroyed building from the events was black. The dragons destroyed the city very badly and we had to fight it off. A soldier was running at me with a machine gun in his hands, behind him was a soldier like himself. Surprised, running up to me, he asks me. Hey. Han Yell. Are you okay? I was standing near the huge corpse of a predator, turned my head from behind in the direction of the soldier who was calling me, when the soldier ran up, he shouted at the top of his voice, what? A little shy and scratching the back of my head, I immediately answered him. But, anyway, all this is really happening. It was awkward for me to communicate with him, so in my head I said. Oh, they found me quickly. However, the soldier who was there before and with whom I was talking pushed me with his shoulder. Hey, move over. He told me what, did this porter kill him? The soldier stood with a huge sword and grinned. He really couldn't believe it was me who killed that lizard. And I was standing with my back to the soldier a few meters away wiping my eyes. The knife that I plunged into the lizard minutes earlier remained in the predator's body, and this caused great doubt among the soldiers. With such a meager knife? A girl who, as I can assume, was in their squad, was standing next to her colleague, she had medium-length black hair. She said, didn't we catch him, and this porter just finished him off a soldier in a welding mask standing next to her, who was her colleague, supported her by saying, if you think about it, then it's logical. Do you think so too? The first soldier supported their thought, looking at them from over his right shoulder with a haughty look. He's serious. I thought to myself. Hey, you're a porter. He turned to me with complete disrespect, I, standing at a loss and even a little in unconscious emotions, answered him immediately, what? The atmosphere was creepy, a group of three people looked at me with a terrible look, instead of eyes they had red circles, as if they wanted to destroy me for it. There are no complaints? The first soldier with a hat on his head asked me, holding a huge sword in his left hand. Are these three really for one? I said to myself. I pulled a smile as best I could, but my veins were popping out of anger on my right cheek, answered them. And yes, of course. No complaints. In my head, I was just thinking what kind of damn garbage it is. A smiling soldier in a hat answered me, that's a good girl. The main thing is that he did it very arrogantly and with a teasing look. I clenched my teeth in anger and kept talking to myself, I was a complete fool that I expected any help from them. Walking away from them with an angry look and frowning, I continued to myself. When at the very beginning they used a person as bait. My nerves were on edge from this situation, I was very angry at them for using me, and I had to put my life on the line and go on the attack alone. That's their attitude towards porters. They think we have shit in our heads. Suddenly a soldier put his hand on my right shoulder, which made me a little scared. Hey, Han Yell. A girl with an ornament on her head and an average hairstyle stood behind the soldier and poked him in the cheeks with both hands, but the soldier continued. I understand you, it's not the first day hunters behave like this. What are you doing Han Yell? What's the matter with you all of a sudden? Keeping full control over himself, despite the fact that the soldier is touched from behind by a girl on the cheeks, he replied with a calm face. What she does in such a situation? I thought to myself, shrinking from this awkward moment. I had to get out of it, kick, ah. Uh, nothing? The stomach suddenly seized just. I said with a strained smile, hoping that they would believe me, but they were at a loss from my answer. Whatever her name was. Cabus? It turns out that no one sees her except me? 
Having emphasized the language of the lying predator, the soldier continued to speak his own. Speaking of which, this guy is no slouch. An ordinary porter defeated this lizard with one blow. Well, what to say was lucky for him. All three of us laughed at this situation and the words of the soldier, he continued to joke. Now I don't even know, will Han Yell become awakened? I parried his joke and replied, ha, ha, yes, this can't be. However, I opened my eye and thought seriously. I emphasized the word awakened. What? The soldier told me, well, it's time to get back to work. Cabus, the girl standing next to us, which turns out only I saw, closed her eyes with a smile on her face, did not understand what was happening. And at that moment I was thinking to myself. I'm afraid I've already become awakened. The soldier began to leave, taking a walkie-talkie in his hand, and connecting to the communication wave began to speak. Hey, over, on the wire. Bring the car here. I think it won't be good if I tell it now, so it's better to keep it a secret for now. Looking at him, I said to myself. A large military vehicle in camouflage colors drives up to us, no one is visible in the windshields. Excellent. Excellent. We spoke as we approached the trunk of a huge military vehicle. In an instant, the trunk door opens, and inside the trunk there are two or three black cases and two green cans similar to spare fuel on the right. Han L here, take this. I took hold of the handle of this black briefcase that the soldier had told me about. Thank you, I replied. When I got down from the trunk, the black case was very heavy, and I was standing in the sweat of my face holding the black case with both hands. The soldier standing in the trunk ordered everyone, hey, get to work quickly. Dropping a huge black briefcase from the weight, dust began to rise from the ground. He was really heavy, wondering the girl said. MMM? I said in surprise, oh. Opening the case, I looked at what was inside, Cabus, who was standing a few meters away, wondered, Connell, what is it? This? Hangman's equipment. I answered uncertainly. After evaluating the equipment, I was convinced of my words. With this thing, the monster's material is cut off and then transported. There's something in the box that looks like a chainsaw, my god, are you doing that? Cabus wondered. Yes, this is a common job for porters. I answered. Wearing latex gloves to protect my hands from foreign objects, I continue. Because of this, hunters usually take us with them. In the next moment, getting ready to press the trigger button for the chainsaw to work, I continue my thought. And all this for the money that you can get for the monster material. Ah, that's it, finally realizing why I'm doing this, Cabus replied. I'm standing with a chainsaw in my hands, a protective mask on my face, an apron and rubber gloves, Cabus is standing behind me, singing something. Shall we begin? There are only two of us, so we will cut into two parts. Manager, you are from the head, and I am from the tail. The manager, formerly our soldier, stands near the head of a huge predator. Okay, let's get started, the manager replied. Cabus stands and looks at everything that is happening in front of her eyes as we got to work. Suddenly, Cabus starts coughing, blood from the predator flies in different directions. Good God. The manager said, I'm a little surprised, I start to move away from the predator, behind me Cabus, which releases glitters directly to the ground from what I saw. Manager, what's wrong? Running up to the manager, I shout. God, this thing. The manager answers in a low voice under himself, he was clearly not thrilled with what he saw. Suddenly our gaze shifts to the manager's chainsaw, his chain was completely shattered by this predator, excuse me. My chainsaw is no longer a tenant, the manager replied. Lifting the mask and looking at the broken chainsaw, I replied, we have a hard job ahead of us. That yes. The manager supported my idea. Besides, we have few workers. The manager continued. Do the other porters have no equipment? Looking at a guy with glasses, a green suit and a huge bag. I wondered. He sat on the shattered shard in fright, looking at the floor. No. Well, I'm so unlucky today. The manager replied with displeasure. While we continued the conversation, Cabus came to her senses a little wiping her mouth from the sequins that she early- There's nothing you can do, I'll do the main work, and you're the manager, finish it. Okay, I'm sorry again. We were talking to each other in the background, come on, I replied. After a while, sitting on my ass wiping sweat from my face. Ugh, finally finished. We finally finished loading the car, and she was already leaving on her further business in the background. You even managed faster than I did. What? My thought is interrupted by a sharp blue window, it was a system notification. I was surprised by this turn of events. The lizard monster is completely defeated. Rank A. It was written in the notification. 
what is it again? The notification continued and on the next window it was indicated. I give you an improved hangman skill. Assignment of the skill is successful. Executioner F. What a. In complete shock, standing and looking at the system notification, I replied. How's it going? Monster spawn zone. A huge fence with barbed wire is shown to us in a gray atmosphere, someone says, everyone has worked hard today. Now a daily salary of 500,000 won should come to everyone's account. Check it out. Looking at the phone, I receive a notification from the bank, Papaya Pay Money. The money transfer has been confirmed. Recipient Kim Su. The amount sent is 500,000 won. The remaining 500,463 won. Today the hunters finished earlier than planned. Now you can go home and have a good rest. The three hunters were walking and talking about their personal affairs. Hey, what's for dinner tonight? I don't know, maybe chicken? The guy in the hat answered. And these idiots hunters seem to be very scared, since they are already running away. I thought, standing a few meters away from them in the parking lot. And no one is going to pay me an additional 50,000 for a full 8-hour working day, which would be nice for me. Looking at the phone, I thought. Suddenly, a manager with a joyful face grabs me and says, Hey! Han Yell! Why are you staring at the phone like that? I abruptly removed the phone from fright a little lower. The manager looks at my phone notification about my salary. The recipient, a boy. The amount sent is 500,000 won. The remainder is 467 won. What is it that all the money earned has already gone? He speaks from me. Oh, yes, unfortunately. I answer. We stand both sad and the manager says. I see, you're Khan Yell, you've been covering your father's sick leave for four years? Yes, I do not know how I will last with a sad expression on my face, I answered the manager's question. And what about other family members? Are they not helping? With an awkward expression on his face, the manager asked me a question. This. When I was little, my mother took her older sister and left home. Since then, I've only had my father. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend personal, the manager replied, putting his hand on my shoulder. It's all right, besides, I'm more worried about my father, who is lying on a sick bed right now, and not because of this. The manager wanted to cry right in front of my eyes from my situation that was happening in life. You. The manager said uncertainly. Manager? I answered. I already knew you were a good person, but I didn't know you were that good. The manager was touched by my words, and he began to express everything he hears. A manager? This? Come on, you already. I couldn't connect two words, I didn't expect such a reaction from him. No, stop calling me manager. Just call me Uncle Tisu. By the way, Han Yell, I heard that you don't have your own car. The manager spoke. Maybe I can take you home, he hinted. A. No. No. Yeah. I could not connect two words, I was just in complete shock from such behavior of the manager, and now Uncle Thesu. Hey. I'm already to blame for you. So get in the car soon. Standing in the parking lot completely exhausted from this awkward conversation, my brain boiled and I was like a vegetable. Han Yil, see you soon. Leaving by car, the manager shouted to me from the window. Me. Manager. He's a good man, but he's too annoying, I thought to myself. It's good that we finished early. I still have a little time before my part-time job at the factory. I'm on the night shift today. So I have four hours. Looking at the time on the phone, I reasoned. However, it feels like I forgot about something. Precisely. I said with fright on my face, I left Cabus there. Did you call me? Cabus was already standing behind me, smiling as she uttered these words. A-H-H-H. Oh my god. From fright, I landed on my ass, holding the support with one hand on the ground, and the other on my knee, I looked at her. Cabus in a beautiful skirt, with her hand folded, looked at me, and did not understand why I was yelling like that. Completely bewildered by the events taking place, I begin to speak. What? No, how? Where have you been all this time? Um, what do I need to do? She answered me. You can think. That I'm a part of you. Khan yell. The girl exhaled and said it to me in a very calm voice. A little girl in yellow clothes with a hat on her head like a construction helmet, holding her mother's hand, asks her. Mom, that one's kind of weird. Daughter, don't look there. The mother answered her daughter. The roof of the outdoor gazebo. It turns out. I open my mouth and start talking. That once you have become awakened, you will not leave me alone now, is that what you want to say? 
I am sitting in a gazebo on a bench, and Cabus is sitting in front of my eyes with a smile on his face. Yeah, that's right, she answers me. In other words, I'm acting as your assistant. Han Yil, the girl in front of me smiles even more, answering me. I was expecting a different answer, and I'm shocked by what I said to her, she wonders what's wrong? Something doesn't suit you, she tells me. Of course it doesn't suit me, I start shouting at her in complete shock from what I heard. You appear out of nowhere that I almost feigned, besides, do you have any idea how uncomfortable I am when people think I'm talking to the void? Remembering that moment on the playground, I tell her. Can you even understand how I feel from the shock and what I said, I fall off the bench. But Han yell. Isn't it all your fault? She answers me by closing her eyes with awkwardness on her face. And the fact that that guy followed me. I say to myself. Well, that's it, goodbye to my personal life, goodbye to my happy time filled with joy. I say with tears in my eyes and taking a breath in my cheeks to myself. Hey Han yell. Cabus answers, knocking me out of his thoughts, in a wary voice. What do you mean by happy time? She looks at me from high up, and I catch a wary look. What? What? I answer. Ah, uh, Cabus? Purely out of interest asking. Can you read my thoughts? Raising my hands in fright from the events, I say. Of course, I hear a short answer from her. Can you not do that? Anyway, looking at the bench. How about you test your strength, Han Yell. She continues to stand seriously before my eyes. Do you think it's worth it? Sitting on my knees on a bench with sweat on my face, I say. To begin with, Han Yell, say the word state. I look away in bewilderment, I speak uncertainly. Condition? A sharp flash of blue light begins to appear in front of my eyes. Approved. I reveal the current state of Li Han Yi. A system window with my characteristics appears before my eyes. Name, Li Han Yi. Level 1, points 5. Strength 28, Physique 34. Dexterity 29, Magic 10, Luck 10. Skill Protection Cab is U rank, Executioner F rank. With a surprised look, I look at the system window. It's like a game window of some kind, no? Cabba stands next to me and explains to me. Well, something like that. Your five points are divided into strength, physique, agility, magic and luck. Han Yell, you don't need to explain what one of these skills means, do you? I put my finger to my cheek and begin to ask a little modestly. But Cabus, I want to ask you something. Of course. Ask me anything. She answers. Why is your name included in my skills? Um, I don't even know. She answers with a malicious smile on her face. The skill, in itself, is what it is. Isn't it because I'm so special? A light comes on above her, and she gets into a pose of presenting herself. Oh, you think so? Looking away from Cabus, I say. I'm serious. She answers me awkwardly. Did you by any chance feel any connection between the game state window and that hunt? Cabus answers hopelessly. I think about a reasoning with my hand on my chin, I think Cabus is right. It's been 28 years since the awakened ones appeared, but no one knows for sure. While I was reasoning, Cabus smiled listening to my thoughts, but it didn't bother me, and I continued. How power and awakenings were born. The frightened soldier was covered with a strange yellow aura. For example, this power could appear on the battlefield with monsters. The boy is sitting at his desk at school, he is also covered by an unknown force. At school while studying. Or even be with a child from birth. The child in the mother's arms is covered with the same force as the two before him. The next moment, the scientist is holding his head in shock from the research, the sheets are flying around him. Due to the fact that these abilities manifest themselves regardless of the place of birth, environment, time or occasion. It is not possible to conduct any research. Also, according to already known facts, most awakened ones have one of three abilities. We can observe the sword, shield and bow. Suddenly, their abilities and roles are highlighted above the hunter's squad. Above a soldier in a protective helmet, the ability to shield. The soldier has instigators in the hat, the ability of the sword. The girl with black hair has the bow ability. And according to the available skills, you either become a hunter in monster catching circles or you become a hunter in the circle of producers. A bald man with a beard is standing with a hammer, and he has the ability to craft. Those who create weapons for the first. So far I have only two skills. Skill protection cabus and executioner. The hangman's skill, according to my memories, appeared to me after waking up. Then, with a short break between words, I answer. Cabus, I, I asked a question unsure of my reasoning in order to fully understand who I am. Am I by any chance a unique hunter? 
Cabas begins to smile, realizing that the information has finally reached me. And you grasp everything on the fly, Han Yell. Smiling looking at me and a little glowing, she answers me. I start laughing awkwardly. Can't believe, can't believe I'm a unique hunter? In our country, unique hunters are called thunderbolts. They are real masters of their craft, and one of them is called Hyena. The girl is standing with her back, huge lightning bolts of an unknown aura around her. It turns out that the skills that I have now are also the Cabus defense skill. Is it all thanks to you? Looking at the system, I ask Cabus a question. The girl clearly likes it when I compliment her, and she responds with a smile. Yeah, that's right. I immediately add. But how? The girl covers her eye and confidently begins to speak. If you explain it in simple words. Let's assume that other awakened ones receive a house when the forces appear. And in your case, you only got a brick. The guy starts building a wall out of the bricks he got. But depending on your actions, these bricks. The next moment, the guy is standing in front of a huge castle that he built with his bricks. They can become not just a house, but a whole castle. I'm standing in a complete blackout of my brain, and I'm talking. What, what? You mean I can make a castle out of bricks? Cab is hopelessly realizing that I'm stupid answers, it was just a metaphor. I didn't want to explain everything so briefly. Cabus looks very tired, she takes her hair in her hand. But if it is very, very, very short. I think she's already tired of me, and she's starting to continue. All the skills that you pump, and all the available skills, you get thanks to me. What? Surprised, I shout to the whole street. A dark hangar with a staircase, in which the door is open. The inscription slaughterhouse. The light does not fall on the whole room. There are three old boxes for storing something. The door opens abruptly, and as I enter the room I speak. Hello. Oh, Han Yell has come. A man in a cap and a mask on his face answers. And you're early today, the man continues. Feeling awkward in conversation, holding my neck with my right hand, I answer. I just finished another job faster than I planned. Speaking of which, what kind of monster did we receive today? Opening the closet with work clothes, sleepy I answer. Ha, ha. This is a good question, the man answers me I heard that we have an albatross bird today. Men with a smile tells me this information. I was not very happy with this information and ask him. And isn't this monster level B? How did he end up here? It's all thanks to our boss's connections, the man behind me replies as I put on my work clothes. As soon as there is time, it will be necessary to look at him, wearing a cap, I answer the man. Our boss, of course, does not know how to do anything, but damn, he has good connections, a man with a grin on his face, slightly bent over, tells me. That's for sure, I say. The man looks at his watch and is surprised by the time. My god, it's been a long time. Han yell, I'll go first. I turned my head and looked at him, putting on the straps supporting him. Okay, I'll see you on the line later. By the way, slamming the old drawer, the man says to me. By the way, do you want to leave it like that? However, Cabus says. There is a saying one look is worth a thousand words. To begin with, just continue your work as a porter. You will soon know your abilities, she said in a whisper. How does she even know such a proverb? During my three years as a porter, I have done quite a lot of things. I say with a serious look in the cap. Hey. There. You. Lee Han Yeel. Someone is shouting from far away to me. Yes, yes. Turning his head towards the screams. That voice, damn it, I think to myself. If you want to get paid, you need to plow. Why are you standing there like a statue? A nasty looking man, of large build, arrogantly asks me a question. Our boss is a beggar or just a pig? The man points his finger at me. Hurry up. Run to the workplace. How he annoys me, veins popped out on my face from anger, but I restrain myself. Because I spilled coffee on him on the first day of work, he now finds fault with me about anything. Building 4. The door is open, and above the door is an old rusted air conditioner. Although he deliberately pushed me. The next moment, while sharpening the knife, I continue to reason. And I couldn't tell him anything, because he's the director. Swallowing saliva from fatigue and painstaking sharpening of the knife, sweat flows from my face. But. The monster looks like an elk, covered with strange bright lines. This. However, looking down at him in work clothes and holding knives, I still don't understand. What happened to him? Two monsters are hanging on hooks, both monsters are covered with strange lines. Those shining lines. I look at my partner, who is butchering the carcass. I can even see them on the body of the crazy deer that my partner is working with on the line next to. What is it? 
I look back at my crazy deer covered in strange lines. What the hell are these things? Looking at the deer's body in more detail, they look like cut lines. Oh, okay, we need to continue working, taking the remote control in hand and pressing the button to release the crazy deer, I say. However, for some reason, the location of these lines seems very familiar to me. I still don't understand what these lines are. Putting the knife to the line, it finally comes to me. These are the same lines. According to which I usually butcher monsters. I look at it in disbelief. How did it happen? Remembering your skills in the system window. Maybe it's thanks to the hangman's skill? Cabus, can you hear me? I say under my breath to myself, continuing my work. In response, silence. Ah, uh, Cabus? Why doesn't she answer? I start to panic and fright, and sweat starts to go down my face from fear. Did you call me by any chance, Hanel? A work colleague asks me a question, thinking that I called him. Oh, no, I was just talking to myself. Don't pay attention. Did you call me? Cabus, who have just woken up, appears behind my shoulder. Why does she always come later? What is it this time? Cabus rubs his eyes and holds a pillow in his left hand. Was she asleep? I didn't know that people like her needed sleep too. I want to ask about this deer. I keep looking at the monster carcass, and the lines also continue to glow with an aura. About the fact that these stripes appeared thanks to my skill? Cabus answers me. Are you talking about guiding lines that help your user? Nothing ordinary. Surprised, I look at Cabus, and that's it. I've obviously disturbed Cabus's sleep. That's why I see these lines. Looking at the monster, I cry out. Two colleagues whisper to each other and one says to the other. That guy's having a hard time. The second one answers. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Cabus continues to instruct me on how to use the new system correctly. First start the work and then you will understand everything yourself right away. In preparation for testing new abilities, I take the knife in a fighting grip. Cabus is standing behind me, who understands that now she will feel bad again. I start butchering the crazy deer monster, Cabus, as expected, is slowly getting bad. In the next moment, Cabus tries to restrain his brilliance, which was last time on the mission. And I, as if nothing happens, continue my work. How is that? Wiping my forehead with my glove and holding the knife in my right hand, I say. I finished so fast. It usually takes me at least three hours. I look at the progress counter on the sign. Current progress 23. Go lady. The remaining quantity is 57. I can't believe I managed this skill in just an hour. If it goes on like this, then I can handle an 8-hour job in just 3 hours. An effective skill after all. Continuing to cut the already new monster carcass. I pulled a strange thing out of the monster while I was butchering it. What? Is it a magic stone? My colleague asks. I grab the magic stone tightly in my hand, intending to throw it into the basket. Usually they are collected by porters on the hunt but apparently the porter didn't find him. The next moment I threw a stone to the rest of the same stones, right into the basket. I still can't believe that you can get a million one for such a stone. And monsters are teeming with all sorts of expensive stuff. Magic stones of the lower class, the inscription on the basket. Speaking of which, I have a feeling. Continuing to draw the knife along the lines and holding the carcass with my left hand, I say. That my knife cuts better and better, I keep thinking. Is that by any chance what Cabus told me? Repeating a certain action has given you an understanding of the art of the sword. I assign the appropriate skill. The system notification tells me. Skill formation is successful. Swordsmanship, F rank. As I thought, looking at the system notification, I say. Tired and thoughtful, I keep thinking. But it's still unexpected that I got such a skill. And maybe this same skill also increased the speed of my work? Taking a mop, I begin to clean up the stains left on the floor from the monster I butchered. My colleague is surprised that I have already finished and looks at me, asking a follow-up question. What are you doing, Han Yell? Are you giving up already? Taking off his mask, he shouts to me across the room while I was cleaning up a huge stain. This puts me in a stupor, I stop and can't connect two words. What? Oh, no. This? The clock is 10 o'clock and 6 minutes in the evening. It hasn't even been two hours since your shift started, my colleague tells me. The boss already thinks you're a bad guy, so you also pretend that it's hard for you poor. I don't understand, what are you trying to achieve? With a smirk on his face, he says it. I was already lost from such a statement from my colleague, and opening my mouth, I tried to connect a few words again. Oh, no. You misunderstood. 
The number 80 is on the scoreboard. The goal is completed. It's just that I've already met my quota. A colleague is surprised by my statement. What? Are you serious? But how? Oh, well, that's how to put it. My colleague was shocked by pointing his finger at the scoreboard. You can say that I just caught the essence of how to do it better. Smiling, biting my tongue with a mop in my hand, I answer him. Now is not the best time to say that I have become awakened, so I will compose something. A colleague is in a panic and in shock with my result, touches the counter with his own hands and says. Maybe the device is broken? No, it can't be. I was slowly starting to leave my place of work. Well, then I'll go. I only thought to myself that I was being taken for normal, as long as I was in control of my mana. Starting to leave the fourth building, a colleague shouts at me. Hey Han yell. Then share the secret of how you managed so quickly. After all, wasn't it too suspicious that I finished all the work in just two and a half hours? Continuing to walk quietly, it's even a little unpleasant that I finished a work faster than anyone. I'll have better control over my new power next time. The vile scream spreads to the entire corridor of the Enterprise at high speed to my ears. Hey. There. Just like I assumed it was the boss. Damn it, that pig again? Taking off the mask and gritting my teeth from anger and a little fright, I said. The boss is standing behind me and shouting. Hey, you. Han yell, come here. Pulling a smile to my ears, I turned to him and said. Yes, boss. Something happened? My veins are about to burst from the anger and hatred of this man. Han yell, be patient a little more, I reassured myself. Biting his lip, the vile man begins to behave like a pig. What? Are you asking me what happened? Hinting that it is I who should answer this question. The vile pig stood and looked down at me, saying discontentedly. I see you're just walking around during business hours. Does it hurt that you have a lot of free time? I was very scared. Sweat flowed from his face in large quantities. Have you really done all your work already? The vile man narrowed his eyes after these words. Yes, I'm done, I reply awkwardly. Standing behind the boss and about to attach a pass card, I tell him. I've worked my way through. Rabid deer, cut into 80 pieces. Barefoot with his hands on his hips continues to walk. I'm going like this. Wait, what did you say? I put the card to the access machine, a sound is made from there. Lee Han Yeel, fully fulfilled his daily quota, all 80 parts. The next moment, the boss abruptly turns in my direction and with a surprised look, hearing what the slot machine said, says. I can't believe my ears. In what way? He really managed to do everything in two and a half hours well, it turned out that way. Adjusting the cap with my left hand, I say. The man thinks about himself. It can't be, even if some veteran with 20 years of experience came, it would probably be impossible to manage so quickly. Suddenly, I start running away from work, taking off my work clothes along the way. Well, I'll go then. I shouted to my boss. How did you manage it? What an impudent fellow. The boss, clenching his fist, spoke to himself. Then I'll go look at the albatross and go home, I thought to myself, looking around the corner of the door to the laboratory. Ah, sorry. The lab worker was standing in the same work clothes and a cap, in his hands he had some kind of tablet or notebook to record the records of the newly arrived monsters. Oh, did you come to see the albatross too? He asks me. Yes, yes. I say. We're just getting started. Come and watch. Yes, thank you. In front of my eyes is a bird that looks like a pterodactyl dinosaur. It's like mixing a pelican bird and a bat. Deep night on the street. Houses under some mountain. There are many different houses, not of the best quality. The area looks like a poor one, there are some carpets on the balconies, strange architecture. There is light coming from most of the windows. A gloomy street, reminiscent of horror movies and climbing a hill, without a single resident on the street. The only lantern that falls on the asphalt and a couple of windows illuminate the way. Having opened the door, a bright light shone from behind it. I. The next moment, falling on the bed with all my might, I shout with joy. At home. After everything that happened today, the best thing I can feel is the feeling of my beloved crib. The silhouette with brown hair, the campaign is clearly dissatisfied with something, because he just sits and is silent from what is happening. As I haven't finished so early for a long time, besides, I was able to look at the albatross, muttering lying on the pillow to myself, I say. By the way, since I have become awakened, maybe now there is no need to work at the factory at all? Hugging the pillow and lying on the bed, I think. Textbooks, trash, and a clothes rack are scattered around me. And a computer place. 
I have seen an albatross, and besides me there are other good specialists. Therefore, you don't have to worry. Boy, give me the money back. I get a message on my broken phone. After all, I won't be able to leave this job. I just recently sent 500,001, didn't I? I sent the money immediately after I received it myself. What kind of nonsense is this? Looking at the phone, I say. Ah. I don't know anything, I paid everything today, so that's it. Throwing out the phone and holding my head from overloading my brain, I think. The unknown man gritted his teeth, perhaps he wants something. The knocks on the door are stronger and stronger each time. I'm going to wash my face first. The umbrella is in a bucket, in the left corner of the room. I'm already tired, so someone knocks at such a time, I start to open the door, in a sleepy state. Who's there? Before I finish, an unknown person interrupts me. Excuse me, uncle. The girl stands and looks with a serious look. Of course, I understand that you are in a good mood. Looking at me, she confidently says this, putting me in front of the fact. But isn't it a little late to make so much noise, man? I'm holding the door open with one hand. What? Is she my neighbor or something? I was very surprised by this girl. The girl introduces herself to who she is. I am a high school graduate and if I fail the final exams, will you take responsibility for it? Oh, um. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to her, 